Dramatic Life Changes, The Law of Mirrors and Quantum Jumps. Hello, friends, I hope you are all happy and well, and had a nice New Year's celebration. I am Marie. The Law of Attraction is also called the Law of Mirrors. I prefer this second name because it is a far better description of what really goes on, than the first, because nothing is being attracted, or only as the result of an illusion, in reality, all that the subject is experiencing is only a reflection of who he or she is. That's why I was saying in my last video that to obtain all you want in your life, you must change yourself, and change yourself in the right positive way, and not only focus on the one very specific thing you want, unless that specific thing is part of your overall larger life improvement. For example, if you focus on wanting an expensive sports car, but you are broke and your life is a mess, then such manifestation desire of yours would encounter a lot of friction and blockages, because such a car does not fit into your present reality. Furthermore, if some way the universe lands that car on your doorstep, now when your life is a mess, then you will not be able to enjoy such a car because of all the consequences that it will bring, for example, envies and family problems, which could include pressuring you to sell it to pay for more important things, or debt. Or you may consider doing that yourself after you realize that you cannot afford such expensive insurance, as well as maintenance requirements, and so on, because expensive sports cars, in reality, turn out not to be the machines of your dreams, as they most often are unreliable, and hard to drive. In another example, you may want a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and you may picture how he or she should ideally be in your mind, but you don't turn around and look inward to see what you can offer them. As you are now, with your life made a mess in many ways, and full of bad habits which include surrounding yourself with the wrong type of people, the kind your ideal boy, or girlfriend would never want to be around, manifesting such a person would be impossible because there is no compatibility of circumstances, no vibrational concordance. And as with the example of the expensive car, if the universe by some means would give you your ideal boy or girlfriend as you are now, then the relationship would not last, as such an ideal person simply would not fit in your world. In the last two examples, you can see how changing yourself, and all the circumstances around you, is what matters, it is what really will bring to you all you need and want, because such things and relationships would fit into your vibrational reality when they didn't before. In your new reality, the expensive car fits right in as you have all the necessary context and frame to get it, and keep it, because you would have all the resources to support it and everything that comes with having such a car, and all that incidentally is also what would bring stability to you in all the other aspects of your life, which will also make you vibrationally compatible with that ideal boy, or girlfriend of the second example above. And here I'm talking about the individual's entire frame, values and ethics, needs and wants, its general attitude towards life, and so on, I'm not talking only about monetary wealth and success only, although I understand that is a big part of it all on planet Earth, I'm talking about inner strength and true values, spirituality and ethics, which are an individual's true wealth. Notice that having to surround yourself with the right kind of people, and getting rid of the toxic ones, is a key factor for your success, because, without it, Nothing in your life will change for the better as negative people are literally manifestation blockers. As they constantly will make you fall into self-doubt and into a defeat mentality, that wrongly convinces you that you cannot achieve what you want, and be successful in life. Remember that toxic people will always want to make you focus on all your problems and defects, and on the negative side of everything and they do this for many reasons, because anything that you achieve reminds them of their own shortcomings, or simply because they are lower astral entity agents, 
sent to keep you in a low vibration, so they can exploit you in your suffering. To be able to truly manifest all you want in your life, you must fix as much of your life as possible, and your life is a reflection of who you are, so that means that you must fix yourself to fix your life. This is why I prefer the name Law of Mirrors, to the Law of Attraction. When talking about the Law of Attraction, or about the Law of Mirrors, or manifestation in general, the term quantum jumping refers to when an individual suddenly changes all his or her life circumstances in a very short amount of time. Each individual who has managed to quantum jump has done so using their unique personal way, and, what works for one person may not work for the next, but one of the factors that are common to all quantum jumpers, is having reached some kind of rock bottom where they feel they cannot fall any lower, and it is from that point where they either choose to die, or push themselves up again, as in their perception there is no longer anywhere to go, except up. As the saying goes, there is nothing stronger than a person who has reached rock bottom in its life, and is now rebuilding him or herself. People who have reached this point have suffered a lot, and in ways that only they can understand, so this means that in the eyes of the people who surround them, they may not be suffering, or they may not have a reason to suffer, and this is also part of the abuse dynamics quantum jumpers are no longer willing to tolerate. They have come to a point in their lives that contemplating suicide is no longer an option, sometimes because they have considered doing so for so long it is no longer a viable option as they see that they will not do it or they realize that using suicide attempts to call out for attention leads them to nowhere, perhaps because they saw that their friends and relatives don't care, or because they now understand that seeking external validation leads them to nowhere. This leads the individual to have a strong epiphany, where they finally understand that all they have left is to push forward in life, in their mind, they have no other choice. This epiphany forces them to retract from everything, and from everyone who has been hurting them, because they are so completely fed up with all the abuse they have received for so long. Starseeds and empaths are commonly found in these kinds of situations, because of their people-pleasing mentality, where they were abused by other people, usually narcissists, for their personal gain of all kinds exploiting them to the point where their life is collapsing, where they face the hard truth that they can no longer be so empathetic with everyone, especially with the people who have exploited and hurt them so much and for so long. This does not mean that they are no longer empathetic with others, it only means that the starseed and empath will deeply understand that they must place themselves first, to be able to help others from that place of strength and they finally realize that they are as valuable as anyone else, therefore deserving a happy and fulfilling life. Because empaths and starseeds tend to be abused by narcissists and similar situations, where their self-esteem is systematically destroyed. The person who has reached rock bottom in his or her life will no longer tolerate any situations, and any people who have been hurting them for so long, they simply can't because they are done with feeling sorry for themselves, because so much suffering has clicked something in them, and they are now fully conscious and aware, many times not being able to believe they couldn't see through the people and situations that were keeping them so low before. The first step in their quantum jump most often is to remove themselves from all the toxic people in their lives, and this inevitably will cause them to elevate their frequency and personal productivity, which in turn will render fast positive results, which will make them feel happy and accomplished, perhaps even for the first time in their lives. This removal of toxic people, and a newfound strong resolve to progress, inevitably will bring a cascade of positive events, a chain reaction where one success leads to the next and this in turn makes the individual focus on more good things, which will bring more good things to his or her life.
This means that the formerly destroyed individual will suddenly have a new focus on life, a new attitude where he or she will interpret everything that goes on around them with a new lens full of hope and expectation for new accomplishments, where small defeats and negative events suddenly become less important, or where the individual can even see the positive side to them all, or even twist them to their advantage. In this case, suffering forced the quantum jumping individual out of stagnation, it forced the individual to revise all his or her values, and how life is approached. It caused the individual to suddenly leave behind all that was keeping them back, letting their true potential rise up. In the case of many starseeds and empaths, Following mainstream New Age principles and teachings only made them even more compatible with being exploited by abusive people, mostly narcissists, because service to others is pushed very hard in those communities, and by most of those teachers, and so-called spiritual leaders. They constantly push service to others as the only true characteristic of a positive being, light being, or person but service to others does not work like that on earth, where sadly, the reality is that you must defend yourself, and you must eat or be eaten. It does not mean that starseeds and empaths must turn themselves into narcissists to survive, as they must find the right balance between taking care of themselves and helping others, they must tend to their needs first to be able to share with others their best version, and they must also develop the wisdom to share only with the people who deserve their help, and under the limits the starseed, or empath, must define for their own good, and that of others. Service to others does not mean that all others must be served, remember that. Service to others works very well in higher existential densities, because everyone there is so vibrationally compatible, that whatever one being does for him or herself, is also benefiting all the others as well, and vice versa, and causing all beings and creatures there to live in perfect balance and symbiosis. In higher existential densities, service to self is service to others as well. Although in lower existential densities, such as the one on earth, all this looks impossible to achieve or obtain, being an empathetic loving and caring person who takes care of their needs first to be able to help others from a place of strength, also works in similar ways as it does in higher densities, because everything the truly empathic, and loving person does, will inevitably benefit everyone around him or her, and that includes the entire planet. Although suffering brings most starseeds and empaths to quantum jump, as they reach rock bottom in their lives, suffering in itself and as such, is not necessary to quantum jump, all you need to know is how it works in general, as I've described in this video. You can remove everything you know that is holding you back, people, circumstances and objects all alike, and you can focus on personal improvement, and your life will quantum jump forward in direct proportion to your effort, resolve and your ability to remove what is blocking you. I know people are hard to let go of, especially close family members, but you must understand that their role in your life is to keep you from growing to your full potential. I know many circumstances with family members are not black or white, they are grey, where they may benefit you in some ways, but hurt you in others, only you can know if one or another toxic relationship is still valuable to you, to what degree and why. Only you can know, but then I must also say that there are ways and strategies where you can keep those family members at bay, or only propitiating the circumstances that benefit you, while blocking those that hurt you, it is possible, but naturally each case is different. But more often than not, it is best to simply cut them out of your life. And I know you know that. Choose carefully with whom you want to mingle, as they will define your vibration and therefore who you are in your future, leave as many toxic places, jobs and chores as you can, and focus on yourself, 
because as a starseed and as an empath, you are more than worth it. You will help others more that way, so it is not only for you, so forget about this being something like a self-centered improvement task, because as you raise your vibration you will automatically help only those people who are in your same high vibration range, the ones which are compatible with you, so this also naturally selects who will benefit from your quantum jump towards the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching my video, and for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you here next time. Take care, and have a happy new year full of accomplishments and quantum jumps. With much love, your friend. Marie Swaru. Thank you.